Ghanaians not that, that Ghanaians don't like. The LGBTQ, I'm told that all the members of parliament, to the extent that we have not seen anyone who have uh, 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 said that I'm not part of it. These members of parliament represent the people of Ghana, not so. Mm. All of them have said, no, we don't like it. We don't like the, uh, the LGBTQ. Like me and like uh, other council, there are other parts of the bill that can be um, looked at. Yes. All right? But collectively, we have accepted it. Okay. With all its mistakes. Because no law is perfect. Mm. All right? That is why when the law is passed, it can even go to the Supreme Court. For the Supreme Court say, no, this and this and that. We will do that. It's not right. And it will be accepted. Okay. There have been so many laws, including the measures uh, do I uh, uh, go into court to say that I, as a speaker, I can also vote. But we accepted it. No, so. so what is hunting the president? President, what is hunting you from running away from the bill? Okay. And my friend Asante Bediutio, please take note that power is transient. I've been a civil servant all my life. When your boss calls you to draft a letter, first the the, the boss is writing with all his emotions. But maybe something has happened and that's is emotionally affected. You take the news, you do a first draft, discuss it even with your colleagues. You see, then the colleagues is oh, this part, this word you have used, if you use this word, it will be better. Mm. But for a scientific to just write a letter, the parliament should desist and cease. Look, a legal uh, uh, words. Disease means never try it. If you try it, this will be the consequence. And cease, stop. As I did with you, who told you that you have a right to tell parliament, instruct parliament not to do his work? Hmm. And you write to the president, the uh, uh, speaker of parliament, without respect, without any respect. Bad being is more senior to as I did with you in law. No, so. And the law, uh, the astrologers, we don't treat seniors like that. Whatever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. You are tell for a high pen dream TV in Pacho. When you say the news not talk for my near the bro. News say our baby tea in Pacho. So I didn't want to interrupt you. Now so I didn't interrupt you. News be a present your platform. We saw for your voice note. Not for sending it. I was 0277 128777. You're the best two pen dream FM. So my gana for you. Nothing on car. Young court, young court, and a story. I did bro. I told you right to the CJ. Yes, he said he wrote to the CJ. And the content of the letter was that he, the CJ should. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so a bit of time. So it wasn't necessarily a letter asking the, uh, the CJ to do one before the other. Mm. Yeah, because you know we can, yeah. you can, we can, we can, we can ask for a bit of time. You know, it's a process that you can do as a yeah. as in, to it was not an application. It was a letter. To the CJ to use uh, administrative powers to average, average, yeah, average, average time. time yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we are here once again uh, having to discuss issues that borders on uh, leadership and also the governance structure we we chose for ourselves once again. Uh, I call you, you called me uh, concerning the president's. Uh, uh, should I say attempt to mm. if I want to go local to run away from <laughs> his duty to uh, to uh, to accept. No, he, if you ask me, as in, the president once again has driven the whole country into a very unnecessary impasse. Um it's, 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 it's very very unnecessary because I, I'm so fortified in my belief that the the final post application, the speaker's uh, position seem. It's essentially in protest. That's how I see it. Yeah. It's, it's essentially in protest. And uh, to be consistent with my position, uh, I applauded the CJ. I applauded the position he took. Because I felt that it was an attack on our democracy for the president to 
disrespect par Parliament the way he did when he wrote that, unf that unfortunate uh, letter attempting to direct Parliament on how the the acted. Because you see, there's a basis for all this, the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the and the and the basis is uh, the bill that was passed, as in the bill that essentially is saying uh, order seeks to protect our values. Mm. You understand? And and also then also brings to the fore the processes that that must go as that must be undertaken before a, a, a law becomes a law in this country. Uh, also, you know we took like I said we took about as a constitutional form of democracy. That's in the democracy whose focus is or constitutional focus is to limit the powers of executive because we felt that that was the best way in which our liberties uh, could be could be could be protected. And so in in our constitution, there are substantive limitations on the powers of government, there are also procedural uh, lim uh, limitations. The, the three arms of government, or, lim or, or, or to put it in, in another form, uh, our constitution uh, recognizes that really government has three powers. It has executive powers, it has the powers to make laws, and it has the judiciary powers. And this wisdom, if you that if these powers are put in different entities, then and 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 and, and, and each other, uh, and, and then cause a system where the the various arms of government serve as a, a check on the other, then the purpose for which our constitution was adopted, as essentially to protect our liberties, our lives, our properties, can better be served. And so we always talk about the legislative arm of government serving as a check on this on the executive but in in the legislative arms or in parliament's core duty which is to enact laws our constitution is wisdom also put some form of lim limitation on them and so the constitution says that before a law will become law uh, it must have been passed the president must have assented and it must be same as be published in the gazette if the, these processes are not met then it can be law so really the president was put the or the president was was added to the lawmaking process, essentially to serve as a check on on the on the on on parliament. But even in how the president acts or even uses those those powers, the powers of assent as a check on parliament, the president himself's powers to do same are limited, are limited by the constitution itself. Because they also recognize that if you do not limit how the president ought to behave, then he could also, as it were, uh, use those powers arbitrarily to advance his his own interest. It is very disappointing that the president will run away from these powers he has for our, our benefit and by so doing create this constitution in, in, in a system because if as in some time past as in uh, in the dark periods of our of our country it could have been a cause of war because some bad soldier man can use this confusion and take over power in fact our president has been very irresponsible in that regard, on, on two issues, you, you, uh, you remember the, issue, the uh, situation on the 7th of January uh, 2021, mm. when military men were asked to enter into parliament to yes. uh, as in, So what would have happened if they see some wire in the military, as in the commander's head triggered, and he sees parliament and they said they are taking over the reins of power. Can you imagine well, the... Yeah, can you... Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and then to think that such a simple thing, well, you see, you take the bill, and the, you see the reason why some people have uh, have these issues with the bill, myself included, has been the section of the bill that seeks to uh, bar or criminalize people's uh, rights you know, to speak their mind. As in, we, are, we, we, we may agree or disagree, but in the bill, if it says that you are bad from speaking your mind or having a view that seeks to support LGBT, the rights of any of any person to practice LGBTQ mm. plus 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 plus, you understand? And and these are legitimate issues that certain people have raised. Now, if you the president, 
the devil has come to you and you think that they are these are you have issues with, with them so then the constitution says that after the devil has come to you you have a right to refuse to assent and give your reasons why the bill why you you, you won't assent to the bill because this shenanigans happening you will go around and around it says are you the president have no choice you will have to assent to the bill yeah I mean, we can we can bet on that yeah that's yes, but for the president to write the letter that seeks to direct parliament was really the transmission of the bill to the president is really a step that is within the powers of parliament itself so for you the president to write that letter that impugns on the independence autonomy of parliament really is a disrespect on the tendency and spirit of our constitution itself mm -hmm. and it is it is that act of the president that has caused all this uh, parliament and then also then has drawn in the judiciary you, you, you understand because you know i ask you that, that we know that the of time is uh, mm -hmm. is a process that is available to mm -hmm to lawyers in cases that you can buy an application at that time is abridged on the matter so it is said quickly now we know that Tom general is, is the party in both of the cases yeah not so because he's the legal advisor to parliament he's the legal advisor also to the executive mm. you, you understand and so people and the way government governors have been handled in this and those regime people don't even believe in the integrity of purpose of the president people do not believe that the president does act in the best interest of the country people do not believe that the president does act in the interest of the protection of the constitution of this country because you see ordinarily people shouldn't have doubts as to the reason why that 20 is even asking for an appointment of time in respect of the the the, the, the final book case because there could be legitimate reasons why he thinks that 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 matter should be head first but the problem they are facing is because of the death of integrity of leadership that has been granted us Ghanaians don't even believe in the integrity of reason they advanced by the attorney general you, uh, and, and, and that's the problem they and ultimately all of us are facing because for this our system to work Ghanaians need to believe in the ability of this governance structure to serve their interest mm -hmm. well, as you know at the beginning i said the very rush and the said republic is a republic the reader means more or less like a sovereignty and the public is all of us is a republic and the purpose of the the, as in the 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 bit of the constitution says that we the people of Ghana have been taken up upon ourselves because the purpose for which even the constitution was not in the first place was for the purpose was to serve the purpose of Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. We are keeping on saying that people have their own parochial interests and things, but everybody in Ghana has an interest when we are going to vote, when we are and that interest is what my senior here said that all of us have an interest to see Ghana do well because if we have the, a country that is working with the right governance structure the right economic environment when we have all of that then I have confidence that listen the talent that God gave me yes, can serve me better because I can make economic gains out of uh, 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 those Talents. But unfortunately, because of the lack of leadership or no leadership that we've experienced over the past seven years, people are beginning to lose confidence in even our institutions of state. Mm. Institutions that are meant to protect us. Because for those institutions to work and achieve the goals for which we set them up in the first place, the people need to believe in them. Okay. Is it the people need to, uh, as in, choose in the words of some jurisprudential arguments, they, they, they know the heart. Uh, fuller debate was on people's fidelity to the law people's faithfulness to, to the law mm -hmm. so people's faithfulness to this governance structure as an, has been attacked by the lack of leadership that has been offered by our present government and uh, 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 Dr. Pesci is a history I wonder what how history would deal with him mm -hmm. because you see when, when history is dealing with a uh, Ed Anadu, history system have to say that he was a president that really attacked every single fiber sinew of our country structure mm -hmm. and caused the people of this country to start questioning 
for the first time whether we even made a mistake in 1992 or to think about ways in which we can safeguard for you know, there must be other ways in which we can safeguard this calamity from 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 ever happening again because everything is being attacked okay. uh, uh, it was good you take a vow to protect the values of our country to protect the the constitution of our country to to to, to protect the values of our country, the, the principles of our country and you go for a funeral and then people use the funeral to wish you and sing happy behavior day and you're there grinning from year to year you understand so uh, for me i'll just end by saying that ordinarily ordinarily if people believed in the integrity of purpose of those in leadership then this issue wouldn't even have been up for discussion because there could be a genuine reason why that in general uh, wrote a letter even if that if the letter is the proper way of doing it because so far as i'm concerned you do so by way of motion as time to be corrected yeah. but so far as i'm concerned you do it by you do same by way of motion because we know that in a system it's not just about the substance but the procedure is also very very critical maybe i don't know i've not been told you before i don't know maybe i told you before. maybe you said you can educate him further but even the process in which he did this and the way the president has the host has been handled the fact that the ministry of finance can write a letter to the president advising him not to Okay. Ascent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fact that you are telling and, and that letter if I let me say it was very unfortunate because it was an admission of we having put ourselves into this new colonialism Kwame uh, Nkrumah uh, was uh, was uh, was talking about. Okay. And 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 you understand. So I see you are you are in her. Yeah, so to right. end so that my other colleagues yeah, yeah, say I'll just say that there's something that we need to learn from all what has happened. That you, when you put yourself up to be a leader, when you are given the opportunity, the privilege to lead, you must you must understand that what has been put into your hands is not just uh, even beyond the bread and butter, but even to create a system where the republic, the people, will believe that you are there to serve their interests. When you do the same, then set certain fundamental issues like this issue wouldn't even come up for us to discuss. Before I come to Ambassador, this Azuma Besaro says, uh, okay, tell Dr. Uh, tell Comrade Dr. Percy that he will not leave us now. We need him to wage a total revolution to save our mother Ghana. Uh, can the NDC take note of the so many uh, splinter groups in the party and without the bad ones who are only there for the opposite of the party. Uh, thank you. Franz Gordon says, first, congratulations to the people of Senegal for fighting through the storms defying all oppression to elect a new leader. Bravo to all Senegalese. The situation is not going to be any different in Ghana come December 7, uh, 2024 elections. Whatever the government does to intimidate voters, journalists, Ghanaians in general, who will not, who will still make sure breaking the eight will not happen. Ms. Management, corruption, lies, no respect to the people of Ghana, insecurity, and doom. So, will be no more. Ghana will reject the MPP just like it happened. In, in Senegal. But what I says, my advice to Dr. Bomia is to be mindful the way he talks to NDC because after the 2024 election, then people will take their party from Dr. Baumia. So we'll come back to the NDC. That's what Baro Fai. Uh, Lydia Kam says, Pro Nana Opokwajima has the knowledge and wisdom to assist Mahama to rescue and save our beloved country from the NPP. Uh, Marsh Taylor says a good morning, to especially Dr. David. He made me understand that I did the right thing not belonging to the UP tradition. Thanks to Dr. Kwame Nkuma and Jerry Rollins for the recognition of nothingness as part of Mother Ghana. Thank you. Uh, there's Dela Abdullah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Baba Musa says, Dr. Baba Musa says, thank you to your team uh, i think that whoever dr baumia chooses to doesn't matter it will be an unpardonable mistake for guardians to go to the polls in december and queue to vote for baumia and the npp again after they have plunged this country into a bottomless pit i strongly disagree with my senior dr percy that dr baumia was not part of those who mismanage the economy such a sessions will amount to unjustifiably exonerating the incompetent driver mate um what he said was that he was not in control there was a, yes he was not in control uh, I'm accusing him of being a corner yes. yeah <laughs> uh, well so those are some of the messages you're sending to us via facebook um ambassador well before i go on john Dramani i said that 
he is an assembly of God person, isn't it? Mm. And a Christian. And therefore does not support LGBTQ. Dr. Baumia, you're also a flag bearer of the MPP. Not so. Alan is also a flag bearer. By Friday next week, they should all declare their stand. Alan, 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 Alan has declared. He says he yes. was president, he was sent to the Belong Look, that's good. Yeah. Dr. Baumia, we give you up to Friday. State your, your belief. And as usual, I cannot trust him. Uh, Timothy. Because one time he's a boy scout, another time he's a boy's brigade, another time he's a Muslim, another time he's a Christian. Mm. But both Christians and Muslims have come together to put this LGBTQ. He's a Christian. Christian. <laughs> so, Bahubia, we give you up to Friday. Declare your stand on this LGBTQ. Mm. See, I very much agree with Dr. Pierre Dankwa saying that Mr. Pierre Dankwa is the kind of person we have as a president that have pushed all of us into this crisis. Today, no lawyers and lawyers are deeply involved in argument as to whether the AG had the right to do that or that not to do that. He and I know as lawyers that if you have a case and I want the time to be brought forward, I apply by motion for abridgment of time. And either the mo motion is by ex party or by motion, whatever it is, the other lawyer has to be made aware that, oh, for such and such a reason, I mean, when you apply for the abridgment of time, you just don't apply. You give reasons in an affidavit to support why the abatement of time should occur. So the other lawyer will also be informed and adjust his time, uh, times yeah, time here, yeah. timetable. You know, Senator, there's nothing frustrating as a lawyer to drive all the way to, maybe to Tamale or Takrade or Kofodia. You sit there, you reach there, because if you have traveled, Bam is you, you get to the court before it. You sit there up to 11. Eh? For a judge to tell you, oh, counsel, sorry, the other uh, lawyer has written that he's not able to come. And this is a practice we all of us do not like. Okay, so whether or not the AG had the right to write, because he's an attorney general, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to go into that. But the register of the court, having accepted the abridgment of time, had to notify the other lawyer. Mm. If he didn't do that, what would happen is what happened with the firm of post uh, lawyers because they were not informed about the, the day the case was coming on. All they knew was that they have written, they have not been given a, hear, a date for hearing. Be it as it may. We are, where, we are where we are because of the character of a president that we have. What is happening in court is just the procedure. The substantive issue why we are all scattered is the fact that Parliament has decided that they will not allow the executive to minimize their role in the uh, which is enshrined in the Constitution. You understand? I was a member of the Consultative Assembly. When we came to this uh, laws, formation of laws it was tug of war for us to even accept customary law as part of our practice but but thank god there were very powerful chiefs there who insisted or two shibos was there, number one person was there a lot of they were there who said that customary law if you do away with customary law they will lose our identity as Ghanaians Sana, no one ethnic group in this country whose customs allow LGBT. One, one from the time of our uh, existence as Ghanaians, no one family that has uh, contracted a marriage between two males, where? Alakuru or where? Or Takuradi or where? 
Name it. Oh, Chibi. No, but if you say that you have made a mistake, and of flow, the information we are picking is that LGBT is not strange to Nana Kufado. It's not. It's not alien to Nana Kufado at all. You remember, he, he said he stayed in UK, hmm. where his uncle, J.B. Dankwa's first son, Dr. Paul Dankwa, is a known LGBT. So LGBT is not alien to uh, Nana Kufado. And even taking the case from him, the rules are very clear in the Constitution under Article 106, how to transmit this matters. In the passage of law, we agreed that if a president should have majority in parliament, he can bring any obnoxious law and it will be passed. All right. Or parliament on its own can be used or can use itself to pass obnoxious law. So for the purpose of checks and balances, parliament pass, passes the bill, it has to get the, an assent of the president and be gazetted before it becomes a law. That is all we know. So when Parliament finishes a bill, the route is that transmit it to the President. When you send it to the President, he has time limit for which he has to respond that, okay, I've received this bill, but please, can you amend this, 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 and that? First, he has to accept that whether he has said the bill or not. If he doesn't accept, he has to explain to Parliament by writing why he does not accept the bill and if parliament is minded will factor the concerns of the president in a making making amendments the other route is very simple which i thought common sense would have uh, advised the president that look just refer this matter to the council of elders council of state finish <laughs> if the president was was minded of i mean advised properly he ought to have just taken it there and all this will have value we are facing will not have happened. So now, do you know the cost of reassembling parliament? Do you know the cost of empowering, I mean, the Supreme Court? Wait. Now, I am not interested in discussing the legal tussle, the legal tussle of whether the firm of force was first or not. I'm not interested in that. But the legal principle is trite that in litigation, you don't surprise your other party. And attorney general in this case is a lawyer, like me and you sitting, sitting before judges. Yes, attorney general in this matter is an ordinary lawyer for president uh, for the state, isn't it? So if you are acting in, as a lawyer, practice the thing that. Whatever step you take, you inform the other parties. Some people have argued that it is only when you are um, applying by motion that the other party must be informed. I don't agree. The letter you wrote, courtesy, even courtesy demands that your other lawyer has to be informed. Yeah. <coughs> or just, you talk because he's an attorney general, he can do things and the court will accept and that's what has happened. But I'm not interested in going that. We we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. So the speaker also said, oh yeah, if you have gone that route, I also go through that route. Sayo, Onibabajano. Sayo. You see, thank God we have somebody like uh, Bagden as the speaker of parliament. Who knows what he's about? This is not a time where MPP had a majority. Mm. And so most of the obnoxious laws that were passed, including tax exemptions, were passed during Speaker Queen's time. Right? Akufa do still want to get Parliament to give more, more tax exemptions. Senna, two bills are here. One, appointment of ministers for more do, for more cash, for more expenditure, mm. and LGBTQ. Which of the two bills have Ghanaians spoken about? Or Ghanaians not that, that Ghanaians don't like? 
the LGBTQ, I'm told that all the members of parliament, to the extent that we have not seen anyone who have uh, 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 said that I'm not part of it, these members of parliament represent the people of Ghana. Not so. Mm. All of them have said, no, we don't like it. We don't like the, uh, the LGBTQ. Like me, and like uh, other council, there yeah. are other parts of the bill that can be um, looked at. Mm. All right? But collectively, we have accepted it. Okay. With all its mistakes, because no law is perfect. Mm. All right? That is why when the law is passed, it can even go to the Supreme Court. For Supreme Court say, no, this and this and that, we will do that is not right. And it will be accepted. Okay. There have been so many laws, including the measures uh, do I uh, uh, go into court to say that I, as a speaker, I can also vote. But we accepted it. No, so. so, what is hunting the president? President, what is hunting you from running away from the bill? Okay. And my friend, Asante Bediutio, please take note that power is transient. I've been a civil servant all my life. When your boss calls you to draft a letter, first, the, the, the boss is writing with all his emotions. But maybe something has happened and that's is emotionally affected. You take the notes, you do a first draft, discuss it even with your colleagues. You see, then the colleagues will say, oh, this part, this word you have used, if you use this word, it will be better. But for a scientific to just write a letter, the parliament should desist and cease. With a legal uh, uh, words. Desist means never try it. If you try it, this will be the consequence. And cease, stop. A scientific who told you that you have a right to tell parliament, instruct parliament not to do his work? Hmm. And you write to the president, the uh, uh, speaker of parliament without respect without any respect but being a small senior to as an individual to a law no so and the law as well as we don't treat seniors like that so now let me back, uh, come down hmm. because today, you have to wrap up for me yeah i'm wrapping up yeah. today we have all been discussing including pan-african television using uh, your station mm -hmm. man hours to discuss this stupidity stupidity because the speaker and the finance people have warned the president not to sign look every money we take from the IMF is a loan we are going to pay also and which conditions in the IMF loan that uh, IMF deal we signed included, included the fact that if we, we sign LGBT they don't give us that money which which clause had that. Man, if a contract we are signed by IMF, do this, do this, and I'll give you this money. And LGBT is not, LGBT is not part of it. In any case, LGBT has been ruled by the international court. That is not a human rights issue. Look, so me and Apia Dankwa, we are, we have our wives. You have your wife, you have your wife. If you want to uh, have sex with our wives, should you advertise it? Should you form association before association before before we, we, we have sex with our wives? This issue, if you don't take care, it will destroy our country. Okay. It will destroy our country. And that is why the chiefs, the uh, clergy and everybody is against that. Okay. I'm asking that. So I am ending. I am ending on one request. Dr. Baumia, by Friday, declare your stand on the LGBT. Otherwise, we will add you to the group of people who are promoting the LGBT bill. And take the LGBT bill. Thank you. Look. Um, well, very interesting situation. Um, I'm the old man out. Because uh, we are dealing with two lawyers, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, first, has to do with the 
Supreme Court. Yeah. Okay. Um, as a layman, I have uh, I'm in a, in, a situation, in a very difficult situation. But my attitude to this Supreme Court is that it has established that it has a right to be arbitrary. And what's the other word? Is it whimsical? Yes. Capricious. Capricious. That's yes, capricious. Thank you very much. <laughs> now my my, my my friends are officers of the court, so they, they cannot speak the way I'm speaking. But one of the falsehoods on which this whole principle of the judiciary is built is that uh, justice is blind, right? But at all times, the law reflects politics. So, for instance, in a period of slavery, the slave owner owned human beings as property. He could put in, in some many in many places. He could put that property to death and suffer no consequence. Right? Today, under the law, there are people who are entering factories to work. This other day, there are people who are entering factories to work. They are going to work cooperatively to generate surpluses by law it is the right of the owner of capital to take all the surplus this is lawful legalized theft for the owner of capital to take all the surplus The simple, the simple name for that system is capitalism. That is the law. So at all times, law is a consequence of politics and the political system. So there's this elaborate, this thing to pretend that it is not. That's the first falsehood we have to address. And in Ghana, the law, at least, running from the time of just before independence, throughout, the law has been a loyal constituency of the NPP. The other law. The bar, the bench, the different sections of the MPP are work. The bar association, these we even forget about them. Once upon a time they were very, very loud. There was even a time when they went on do I call it legal vacation? But they went on vacation. They said, "Oh, with the no, 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 no strike." They said, "With the election of the MPP, it was no longer necessary for them to engage in the public space in activism." Mm -hmm. Yes. So the MPP will fight very fiercely to maintain control of that space. 
I think you've forgotten the words of the the late former general secretary when the issue of the that uh, fraudulent case was sent to the Supreme Court the petition was it 19 for 20, 2013. 2013 yes we had only one prob a problem with only one person on the bench. They were sure of the pedigree of everybody. They knew where they stood. They had a problem with only one person. As to Guru. He they were not sure about. And then it hasn't really mattered who has appointed whom. Because the proof from which they are selected is narrowed. So no matter what happens, they will remain in charge of the law. Now, I be convinced, in spite of my own argument, that it is possible for the, 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 the judiciary to be quote unquote fair and sensible. I mean someone said that the law must always make sense. When they finally come to this ridiculous decision they made about the what is it, the birth certificate. Hmm. I think that's still that thing is still hanging, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what is what is the evidence that you are Ghanaian? You have a Ghana card. <laughs> it cannot be issued when you are when you are born because your features are not fully formed. I hear. And you have this standing foolishness. And we are all living with it. And we are happy to proceed like nothing is happening. So well, for me as a a lay person, they provide some relief on the fringes, but comic relief on the fringes, but that's all. But the real issue is that law everywhere reflects politics and power. And that is the situation in Ghana, no less. We should keep we should we should quit kidding ourselves. The NDC should know that there's a permanent majority for the MPP in the bench at the bar. Finito. If they recognize that and they recognize the class basis of this I'm talking about, then they, are, they, then they really can, can get into the fight. Otherwise they are wasting their time. Just a shy, shy show. Now, coming about, coming back to the our president. I mean, there, he said a number of things that I cannot disagree with. Right? He said that he does not intend to sign to make uh, this LGBT thing legal as president. He does not think Ghanaians are sufficiently seized with this thing to advocate for it. Mm -hmm. And he says that if there's enough social pressure brought in agreement, things can change. And he refers to his time in the UK. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's one of the few occasions I can agree with him. But our president has always run away from responsibility. This president has always run away from responsibility. Now, those, those words that were conveyed by his assigned, the secretary, to parliament, 
where his very words the expression of an autocrat of a despot sees desist I am the law and at all material times that is what our president has displayed but it's a very difficult situation because you know what in opposition they use this LGBT baiting okay to really go at President Mahama okay talking about his associations with some gay publisher blah 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 it was a big deal yeah. it was at the heart of it okay now he's also put in a very difficult situation where he must block the talk Ghana beyond aid here we are on all fours going from one creditor to another asking for compassion space because we have really put ourselves in a mess and he cannot ignore the words of the resident governor you know the resident governor oh. the American ambassador you don't know that yes so and they're on a roll I mean that is the, the, the trend otherwise for me why should what adults do in private be a business up to the point of putting people in jail what should be a business of all the issues that we have material and your existential must we spend so much time on this but I see that it's become a huge frenzy I'm patient enough to wait to see how this frenzy develops our president has put himself because he's trying to ride two horses simultaneously not again two horses go in the same direction but two horses <laughs> going <laughs> in opposite directions how, how you manage to achieve that is the problem because otherwise if you have no problem with signing this thing with a flourish with this grandstanding but no the real truth is that yes the Ghanaian economy giving the mess mm -hmm. is in a really bad situation what is this sorry I thought I'd put it off the real truth is that the Ghanaian economy is in a really really bad situation we are all false pleading with our creditors and there's very little room for this thing and they are going to have any chance of spinning the story of Ghana having turned the corner and taking us to the election okay if they can successfully do that they believe that they'll be home dry except I don't see how that can happen with the third issue that we never got around to talking about doom so or is it doom cc doc thank you yes thank you i'm sure there'll be time to talk about it in fact mm. there's a conversation ongoing conversation that of course we have would have uh, but doc says you have your timetable ready 
That's not a deal. You give me a title. 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 You give me Whoever the super incompetent vice president Baumia will bring will not change anything. MPD is already in opposition. We can allow Baumia to scam Ghanaians for the third time. Uh, thank you. There's a uh, okay, Nana Nana Peace was saying to say, there are 13 states out of 51 states in the America where there are laws ban LGBTQ plus practice. This the U.S. ambassador must leave Ghana in shame. Uh, Sorry, I would tease this year, no. A uh, platform my friend Pendrim TV, aha, uh, and I uh, uti story no. Na uh, feedback we hear empa story our ti no. Any story be our platform ni subi our ti our pese. Uma your feedback no. Um, fafa WhatsApp mess or uh, WhatsApp number zero two seven seven one two eight seven seven seven. Na yebe bo e wo Pendrim F M agana phone ni na ati onka. Dedi kama amena Pendrim TV ase. Na so far so good. Se open online portal e wo Ghana. Ah ni pa share. You can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have been doing TV.